What an absolutely atrocious game, by the way. What a awful, aw like, what is going on, man? Uh, Vod oh my god, Closer blundered. Oh, that's huge. Huge. I'm a little, uh, so I'm a little, I'm a little bit surprised here that Rek'Sai didn't just actually opt into full clear. Um, Rek'Sai can't possibly know about, uh, Talia's blunder right now, but this is really bad. And Closer's actually even having a little bit of PTSD because he's kiting so bad, man. Oh, it's really rough. And now he's going to start the Gromp, but Closer is just so far behind in this game. And you can see that Fudge, he was able to get back into top lane. He's on the Utility Champion. He only needs level 2 to create a gank with Rek'Sai. I don't know what the hell Rek'Sai is doing, though. This looks like they're going to try to go for like some sort of a Sinner gank, but Blabber doesn't need to do this um, because he's so far ahead. And then right here, uh, this is definitely a little bit strange. Someday teleports down. Um, and it looks like they will end up actually just getting two of the kills. So definitely a bit of a blunder by both Vulcan and Sven. Don't know what the hell is going on. I will be totally honest with you. And now Blabber is trying to sin. So this is very interesting. Perks is going to be able to pick up that kill there. Seismic Shove is going to whiff. And there is the aggro reset. Now Galio is going to be able to teleport back into the wave. Closer is sharing some EXP with the Galio, and this is going to help Closer recover um, from the absolute uh, tragedy that was the early game. Thank you guys for almost trying to help me beat level 3 here. Um, but let's take a look at what, what transpires down here. So, uh, Vulcan misses an auto attack. Sven can't get to level 2. Um, and so this is just a, a really standard dive that they end up executing. Vulcan doesn't end up casting Ignite. It wouldn't have mattered. Um, and then meanwhile, in mid lane, Demonte was just getting piled up on in the Zoe Galio matchup. And really, I mean, Closer, Closer should have been here, and he would have already been here. Um, and so this is actually kind of weird. So the way that I measure this is that uh, this should never work, um, because they can't account for Closer uh, fucking up his blue leash. And if uh, they can't account for Closer fucking up his blue leash, it means that the intent uh, with what cloud Nine's trying to do is actually really bad. Because if Talia is there, what cloud Nine is doing is really, really, really troll. So I actually think that was really bad. The bot lane state is really, really, really bad. Um, this needs to be bailed out by Blabber. They need to get bailed out by Blabber. So Blabber needs to come down here, take this wave, and then the next wave. And help them shove it. And, okay, it looks like they are going to get onto FBI. Perks is there with the Paddle Star. Ends up getting the kill. Doesn't really matter what Closer's doing. He's not able to actually kill Vulcan. Unless Vulcan blunders. And now they're going to, yeah, they're going to shove in all the, the minions together. Now, uh, okay, Demonte makes the correct decision. He's just going to reset. No, he should have just reset. He should have just reset. Okay, well, Cloud9 are, are honestly just doing something else, I guess. Uh, okay, I, I don't know. I don't know what Closer's doing. I really don't know what Closer's doing. So, he should have just reset, and now he's so indecisive. This reminds me of, like, the LCK rookie mids that don't know what the hell to do when they end up F-keying, or, like, they can't... They're, they're so indecisive on decision-making. And a lot of this just has to do with Foresight. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're just joining us from the LEC, welcome to the LCS. Would I accept a guest invitation to LCS? Of course. I'm fine for joining any broadcast to help out. Um, really big dive down here by uh, 100 Thieves. And uh, yeah, definitely uh, putting the... Uh, well, Cloud9 Cloud really putting the C in Clown here on uh, 100 Thieves. As Blabber is going to use the Prowler's Claw. Going to pick up that kill. FBI going to be forced to flash away. Perks has the flash available. And okay, they are going to get the double kill. And, uh, yeah, this game's over, I think. Uh, 100 Thieves, uh, have committed 100 Sins, and I don't think that there's probably any recovering at this point in time. And so let's just take a look at this. Now, you'll notice that, uh, Teleport coming in from Galio, and, I mean, Rel is just a really good champion at handling or juggling, like, dives and engages. Blabber is here as well, you had perks coming down, um, from the middle lane, and it seems like, I mean, Atrox knows that he's locked up. Even though they both have teleport available, there's no way that Atrox is going to be able to find an angle to teleport down here. And so Cloud9 just end up picking up uh, quite a lot of good value stuff here, okay? So it looks like Imperial Mandate is going to be the item on Demonte. I don't think that's going to be Moonstone Renewer, but I don't know why you would go Imperial Mandate on, on Galio. That just doesn't make any sense to me. I think if you're going to go any item uh, that's going to be cheap or like whatnot, you would just go uh, Shirelli. Oh, Shirelli is right. Actually, it's the same build path. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's the same build path. I just blanked on that. Totally forgot. Totally forgot. Turbo Chem Tank already completed on Gragoose up there in the top lane. Ludens plus Sorkpen Boots already completed for Zoe. 
Um, and so now as the as the next item, actually I think going mage eyes would just be good here. Any assist or kill obviously puts Zoe into the mage eyes test roll. Uh, Hui is trying to make it up here, um, but he, he's not going to be in time. Even if he uses the face breaker, oh okay, they're going to use the Galio thing too. So okay, Fudge is actually going to be. Uh, Fudge, Fudge is gonna be dying there. Um, it does cost a lot of investment, and obviously, I don't know what the hell Blabber's doing. He should have picked up that entire wave. He's trolling. What is he doing? What? He's trolling. I mean, he's just trolling. He's just trolling. That is so much gold and EXP that just went into the void. And I anticipate, like, chasing after closer here and being willing to use your flash in order to get a kill, it's just so bad. It's just so, 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 so bad. Really, really, really bad. Especially because Closer can obviously just opt into not doing this, or he can just be in a different position while he's doing that camp, and then then what? I mean, it's uh, it's really it's really bad. Hello, Meta Pusher. Okay, now we're gonna have another random clown fiesta fight here at the Raptor camp. Blabber is gonna what's well, an 800 gold shutdown, but fucking Hui took it, dude. Holy moly, guacamole! And now Perks is going to tag quite a few players. Not going to be able to get any of the spells picked up. It's not really going to matter. So let's take a look at this. Uh, Blabber ends up going out of the pit. Red team gets the dragon, so 100 thieves end up taking it. Fudge gets in there pretty late. Vulcan goes in for an engage. I mean, th th this isn't really... Like, if we if we rewind this... Let me, let me rewind this, because I know that I just got lost in the Magi thing. So let's rewind this fight. Okay, so take a look at what's happening here. Blabber is instantly starting up the Cloud Dragon, right? Fudge goes back down into bottom lane, but also everyone on Cloud9 just isn't in the middle because they know that if they're all in the middle, then it's just going to be a Wombo thing, right? So Blabber even starting it up, even though the team's position is not super ideal. But <coughs> Fudge going down into bottom is also kind of uh, kind of weird, champ. And uh, it's not a very good situation right now, Okay. Um, meanwhile, I mean, it, it is a 3,000, uh, gold lead for Cloud9, but, um, it's a sole point being threatened by 100 Thieves. The one thing that Cloud9 still has going for them is the level advantages that they have. We'll see what ends up happening in the next team fight. I guess the next team fight's just gonna decide the game. I feel like, obviously, like, Blabber, even though, Blabber has all the kills, and it looks like Blabber's doing a lot of good things, but he's also been doing a lot of bad things this game. And so that one is definitely very interesting. Um, Zven is behind in this game. Probably a lot more than Cloud9 would like him to be. What a sinner. Okay, Fudge is, uh, caught out down here in bot lane. Nice cancel by, uh, Hui. And it seems like that is gonna be, uh, Cloud Soul going over to 100 Thieves. Unless Zoe manages to steal it or Blabber manages to steal it. So, no clue, uh, what Fudge is doing there. Definitely with a little bit of the Niles cosplay. Yeah, Black Cleaver is definitely a troll build here. Uh, there's no reason to, to have Black Cleaver, I don't think. Alright, and it looks like uh, 100 Thieves are just going to end up walking away victorious in this game. So, uh, okay. That is going to be Cloud Soul. Whoa! Really good seismic shove by Closer. Really, really, really good seismic shove. And I like what they're doing. They're just securing all of the vision around. That's gonna be Cloud Soul. Zven is probably really pissed that uh, they were so far ahead and the top side of the map just kept forcing things completely fucking for no reason. Gave away massive shutdowns as well. And what should have been an otherwise free win for Cloud9 has just been thrown over and over and over again in an endless amount of time. Blabber tries to flash out. They are gonna get one kill. Prowler's Claw goes through as well. Baron! Getting a kill onto Talier, and it looks like FBI is- holy shit! Fudge is eating good tonight! And, uh, alright, gets a 1,000 gold into his pocket, as Ven now gonna move over. And, uh, okay, now with Perks there as well, Perks is gonna be able to pick up the smite, there's gonna be no chance for 100 Thieves to steal this Baron, unless Perks really somehow fucks this one up. This is absolutely a clown fiesta, and uh, yeah, I mean, this is what you guys all are all here for. So, you could be watching Fnatic versus Excel, or you could be watching, you know, G2 versus Rogue, or you could be watching this absolute blessing. C9 games are definitely always a banger. So, Fudge and Blabber managed to actually make a lot of value here. Definitely very, very good. It's really sad that the Baron actually got the kill. They didn't end up getting the assist, which is definitely kind of sad. 
Um, and then obviously now Cloud9 with the Baroon Nasher. Will it go into the Elder? It will not, and so this is still gonna be uh, a bit of a hard situation for Cloud9, because even with the Baron and the Gold Advantage, they're still behind in the game. Now, obviously you can see on the side of 100 Thieves, all of their levels are all pretty good. You can see they're ahead in uh, they're they're ahead in the marksman department. They're also ahead in the support. One level lead for Kaisa and Set. One level deficit for Talia, but Talia is more uh, useful than Rexai at this stage of the game. Um, Rexai does pick up the Steric's Gauge, but that doesn't really do a whole lot. Uh, okay, I don't really know what Closer is doing there. What the. What an absolutely atrocious game, by the way. What a awful, aw like, what is going on, man? Um, they should chase Demonte, but not kill him. They should chase Demonte, but not kill him. Uh, looks like he's gonna try to, uh, teleport away. Yeah, he's gonna try to teleport away. He's gonna E one more time. And then he's gonna, ooh, and now the bubble goes out. He's gonna, t wait, what? Huh? What is he doing? TP. What are you doing? Okay, that was really bad. So his his teleport's not relevant. He gave EXP over. He could have also maybe given an a, kill, a killer an assist, right? If like stuff is just a little bit different. So I think that decision making is atrocious. And now he's gonna have to, I guess, teleport into the dragon. He's not gonna be up. Well, I mean, he, he yeah, he's not up in there. So, teleporting into the dragon versus just being at the dragon initially is definitely bad. He, he did die- well, no, I mean, Elder, 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 um, Elder comes up after he's already up, but it's definitely just awkward. No, I guess, I guess, I guess with what Cloud9 are doing, uh, yeah, he's able to, he's able to actually be her. But he ended up using Predator, right? He used Predator in order to do this, so now he's down Predator. It's not super big, but it, I guess it is something subtle. So it's sort of like whatever, you know? All right, this is the only way that uh, 100 Thieves can win is if Cloud9 just blunders into them. So as long as Cloud9 doesn't blunder into them, everything's going to be fine. They need to just be a standoff, and they need to let Zoe basically do her thing, and they need to look for uh, Blabber to fish for, like, a really good angle. So this is basically the best angle of approach for Blabber. Zoe needs to keep using this little area and then, uh, you know, the safety of it to fish for Paddle Stars and Bubbles. Um, correct by 100 Thieves to try to shove, but obviously uh, they're getting they're getting uh, split up and, and caught out. And uh, this is sort of like what I was meaning about um, the, 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 the Rek'Sai, right? It doesn't really matter. Um, you're going to kill the person in the same amount of rotations, and if they survive or if they just live a little bit, you're still dying regardless of what you build. So... Double kill for Samira. Demonte is going to go down as well. They should just ignore Demonte right now and just go back onto the Elder. So, obviously, I think that uh, Blabber going into whatever fucking awful item that he's building right now is definitely a loss to Shopkeeper. He should just pick up uh, Guardian Angel. I don't know why he's not going into Guardian Angel. Uh, likewise, I don't understand why uh, Fudge is going Frozen Heart. I think Frozen Heart is super stupid here. Just goes on his Hourglass. Just goes on his hourglass here on Gagas. Don't 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 go frozen heart. It doesn't do anything. They do not have enough champions that 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 item actually affects. Makes literally no sense whatsoever. This is just losing to shopkeeper all around. Why didn't they wait for Blabber to be up before taking drag? Uh, yeah, that's another mistake uh, that they do end up making for sure. Now with Baron and Elder, I think that it's actually just correct to dive the turret. I'm not even kidding. Just get the wave onto the turret, burst the turret immediately, and dive and just force the fight. Don't try to take anything too slow. Just literally, like, if you, like, there is no possible way that having a sustain, oh, it's over, it's over. They went. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, they went. It's over. I think you have to give perks MVP. Realistically, it's perks. I know that they're going to give it to Blabber. Um, I know that they're going to give it to Blabber, but perks is the MVP. Of this game. Yep. Jesus Christ, this was an absolute... Okay, I went from the LEC to this.